views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar of the Astrology of Life YouTube channel. And over on the Substack platform, my three newsletters, one is called Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe. Uh, the next one is Trump in America. And the third one is Ask the Astrologer. And I would like to invite you to join me over there if you would to uh, gain some insight, uh, which is not always covered in these videos because I'm essentially working with the astrology and um, making a uh, presentation in regards to what I feel that these particular aspects uh, could mean in terms of the life of the person that we're watching. Today my video is going to be about the relationship between Donald Trump and his wife Melania. And this is going to be a very interesting video. And uh, I'm going to probably follow this up after this video with the relationship between Donald Trump and Melania and Baron Trump. There are a lot of interesting factors in his horoscope um, that I would really like to get into and to give you kind of a layout and an understanding of what I feel uh, is being represented in those particular charts. It may not be what you think, okay? Um, I know that from everything that we see in here, the belief that we probably have, a lot of us, is that Donald Trump rules the roost both in the physical world and also in home. But I think I can show you that that's not the case and that there are a lot of factors that probably are not well known that I'll be discussing to show in the charts that I'm going to be dealing with uh, to show you that there is kind of a secret behind the scenes um, factor unknown that exists between Melania Trump and Baron Trump and uh, his father Donald Trump. But let's take a look here at the birth chart of Melania Trump. We don't have her exact time of birth but uh, I'm going to be looking at the particular aspects here that I think are extremely important when we're talking about her as a person. The thing that you'll notice about this chart when you look at the Aspectarian here, is the opposition of Neptune to Mercury, okay, to Venus, and to Mars. Okay, I'm, I'm, Neptune. I hope I said Neptune. Okay, <clears throat> now, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I have been uh, focusing a lot of attention to Neptune. And not just to the Neptune that um, is written about in a lot of books that you will read in astrology uh, that basically kind of relegate it simply to higher, it's called the higher octave or the higher um, version of love of Venus. Neptune also is responsible for a lot of deception. A lot of deception, but not just mental deception, uh, kind of a spiritual deception, kind of a deception that can bring into play dark energies, dark entities, and things of this nature. 
Uh, of course, it represents to a certain degree ghosts. It represents enlightenment to a certain degree. But you have to have a pr proper understanding of both the light and the dark aspects to the planets Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Because they both exist. Okay, The good possibilities of Pluto and the good possibilities of um, um, Neptune, the good possibilities of Uranus, they all exist. But so do the dark equivalents. Okay, And in this particular chart here, with Neptune opposing both, okay, the planet Mercury, Venus, and Mars, you can assume that in her life that she has encountered many situations which were deceptive or that were filled with lies. Neptune opposing Mercury would mean somebody who's susceptible or gullible to being deceived, to being lied to, to being manipulated. Neptune opposing Venus, uh, very similar in regards to love relationships. You have to be careful, okay? You have to be very discerning. Uh, you better be very aware as a person. Uh, and I think that in most cases, either these things would have to be addressed directly or you better run, okay? Um, She's kind of a mysterious person in a way. But I think the way that most people look at her, it's kind of like she is a floozy gold digger. All right. But when I get into more of these charts here that I'm going to show you, there's something else that's there. Okay. As in the case of many relationships, uh, we tend to only see one level of the relationship, but we don't know what the power and the dynamic is behind the scenes. And that is something that is really kind of a karmic issue, okay? That's kind of a situation where you get what you need, you get what you deserve, all right? And it's very possible in this situation with Donald and Melania and Barron that they hold a certain amount of control over him, which I know probably sounds impossible. But as in the case in many situations, the person that you see in public is not the person that is behaving a certain way in private. Okay? So the groundwork here for her, in regards to her um, psychodynamics, is that she's susceptible to being deceived, to being lied to, to being manipulated, to being used. Okay? Um, probably for a sex toy, if, you know, for no other reason in regards to how Trump thinks. Okay, now let's move forward here to another chart. All right, this is the chart of Donald Trump here. This is the chart of Melania. And this tells us a little bit more about what the dynamics are in their relationship. Okay, we know that Donald Trump's midheaven is at 24 degrees of Taurus. And you can see here that Mercury's at 22 Venus is at 28 degrees Taurus, okay? She supports his schemes to make money. She supports and is very much invested in his wealth, okay? Um, that's where you could probably say that there's a certain amount of gold digger in her and the whole process of their relationship. Um, it is known that they had a, I guess, a prenuptial contract and that she's had it negotiated uh, at least once that I'm aware of. Um, no doubt there is a, a uh, non-disclosure aspect to that, that she'll get so much of this if she doesn't say a whole lot about this. But this may be coming to a head, okay? If you know much about the situation with Stormy Daniels and what was said about her interaction with Donald Trump, this has to weigh upon whatever dignity that Melania may have, whatever pride, if you want to call it that, she might have, to be publicly shamed, okay, to be basically looked at as the president's, or the past president's fool, would not be something that I don't think that anyone would really revel in, okay? Now, that being considered, the first impression you might get is that well, she's just dumb, 
or she doesn't know what she's doing and she's got herself in a mess. Okay. But there's something very significant in this chart, in this comparison between his chart on the inside here, her chart out here, and it has to do with Pluto down here. Okay. Pluto squares Donald Trump's sun and moon. Okay. Uh, e not, not eclipse, full moon. All right. You know, I think, because I've mentioned this many times, that in Vedic astrology, that the full moon is looked at as being a very fortunate placement to have the sun and the moon in your chart. Yet oftentimes is an indication of a person's fortune, fame, favor amongst, you know, the, uh, the masses or, or success in their particular field. But Pluto here squares the moon, okay, and the sun. For me, this gives her tremendous psychological, maybe even spiritual power over him to set him straight, to deal with him in a way that she does possibly stand up for herself behind the scenes and does not want to have anything to do with his schemes and what he's doing. Um, she may have been, as I mentioned before, one of those people that she was only looking for wealth and security uh, and she could care less about the fame, less about the work, you know. She obviously just wanted to raise her son, Baron. And uh, there's some very interesting interplays uh, between Baron's chart, the mother's chart, and Trump's chart. And I'll show you these in a little bit. It's a three, a triwheel. And it shows the three charts interacting with one another and the parts that come to play. Okay. Uh, Pluto, as you know, uh, in a chart of a person's uh, horoscope, it can do two things for you. It can put you in a situation where you feel controlled, or it can put you in a situation where you realize you have to change, you have to grow, you have to evolve. Things will happen as a result of that combination that will force you to deal with things in private that you're able to get away with in public. And we know that Donald Trump is able to skillfully get away with a lot in public because he lies. And he lies so convincingly because he believes those lies. All right. But on a personal level, it's obvious that Donald Trump hasn't been able to force Melania to come to support him in the court proceedings or in his rallies. Okay, she's invisible, as is a lot of Donald Trump's children. They don't show up, and a lot of other of his, so to speak, supporters and stuff. Um, so this shows that there is a certain amount of Plutonian energy at work there uh, in his life, and uh, no doubt in their particular relationship here. Okay, um, both of these charts that I'm going to be showing you here, I think are significant in regards to what is going to happen over the summer. As I mentioned in a couple of my other videos, um, this is going to be quite an extraordinary summer as we move into June, July, and August. Donald Trump's horoscope, his Vedic horoscope, his Western horoscope, uh, it's going to explode. We, at this particular point, can only imagine what kind of things he's going to stir up to create, what he's doing behind the scenes, what uh, potential outcome, you know, we could see happening as a result of these actions, these political actions. As I indicated in the community section of the channel last night, I was looking at Michael Cohen's horoscope, and today his transiting Saturn is opposing his natal Pluto. Okay, that is a pretty heavy aspect. That is an aspect that uh, whenever it occurs in a person's chart, you have unexpected consequences that can come into your life um, that are rather painful, that are rather disturbing, and that uh, would fall into the category of the best laid plans of mice and men could go astray. And I'm a little bit concerned about the situation regarding his testimony. He comes back tomorrow for cross-examination, I believe. He did fairly well in the um, proceedings today in the court. But it was noticed that he did not look at the jury. Okay? 
And most of the people felt it was kind of odd that he would not at least acknowledge they were there. It kind of can give the impression that somebody's trying to hide something or somebody is ashamed and and um, they don't want to be humiliated any further or, or they don't want to give any kind of a, a, a false perception. So we'll see more, okay, uh, in the next couple of days when he is cross-examined. If the defense attorneys for Donald Trump are able to discredit him, to get him to lose it, so to speak, on the stand, uh, to cause doubt in the minds of the jurors, um, it is possible, as much as has been said about this is a slam dunk conviction against him, I don't think I would go that far. I think that um, it's likely, but I'm still concerned about the fact that somewhere in the mix here of all this stuff that's going on, that this thing could get blown. All right. And of course, that's the case with all these other court appearances being put on hold. Uh, this kind of opens the door for him to campaign and do whatever he wants to do until, okay, we get to the election itself. And that would not be a good place for uh, us to be in with him having that much freedom. Uh, because I think that most of us are probably hoping that he will get a conviction and maybe he'll be put in jail and maybe this will disrupt his plans and this will be the end of this particular situation with uh, Donald Trump. But as I've been saying for many years, don't count Donald Trump out because it's not because of his wealth. It's not because of his luck that we see what is happening. It is because of the karma. It is because of the unique personality that he is and the function that he plays in the karma of our times and of what needs to be brought to bear, which is a severely massive change in the attitude of people towards life, themselves, and earth, the earth, all of these things, okay? All of this stuff that you see going on, the fear, the anxiety, the chaos, the confusion, the stuff on campus, college campuses, okay? All of this is this Neptune going berserk. You know, Neptune's like it's on steroids and it's kind of teetering on the dark side, okay? Now, let's take a look here Okay, at some of the factors between them. I mentioned down here that Pluto squares his sun and his moon. Okay, that's definitely a, a, an aspect to keep you in check if you think, you know, that you're, you're too big for your britches. Somebody has an ability to push a button in you. Somebody can dig into you, okay, whether you like it or not. Okay, it's like a karmic check. All right, so he has to contend with that. All right. Uh, she probably is capable of being deceptive herself. She probably had to do a lot of things behind his back to protect herself because she knows he's a user. She knows he's a manipulator and a liar. Okay. So uh, she would have to be equally as skillful in that particular area to get her way. Okay. And I think that by this point that getting her way is really what what she ultimately wants okay her saturn squares his pluto okay another complex aspect to have in a chart all right pluto squaring the north node and the south node all right this again can be an indication of her power over him in regards to how much she'll support him in his presentation of himself to the public there's many times from the very beginning of their public relationship where we've seen him, her pull his her hand away from him when he reached for it. Uh, she doesn't give the impression of the supportive wife in any way, shape, or form. In fact, when somebody had let out that he wanted Barron to uh, be a delegate at uh, some Republican convention, supposedly Melania said no. OK, so she's not going to just support him uh, into this entire situation, at least as far as we've gone in this point. OK. All right. Let's go forward here on another chart. All right. Now, this is really the focus point of what I'm showing you here, because 
This really kind of makes me wonder whether or not by the middle part of the summer, July or August, whether or not everything that's going on, everything that's building gets to the point where Melania has had enough. She feels that she has the leverage, maybe because things with Donald are going really bad. You know, maybe he did lose um, the situation uh, in the trial. And maybe he is looking at spending time in jail. And they put him into a, a four-year sentence, I believe, is the maximum they can go with. But here's the key thing. Now, this is his secondary progress chart as of May the 11th, two days ago. You'll see down here that his Venus in Libra is exactly squaring his Saturn in Cancer. Okay? Progressed Venus squaring Saturn is problems with women, problems with finances, problems with others. Okay? It's a big deal. He also has his progressed Mercury. Okay? Progressed Mercury squaring his midheaven. Okay? Communications issues. So this is all going on at about the same time. Okay? And as an astrologer, it makes you wonder, okay, what's going on here? Oftentimes when I want to know how severe a particular situation is going to be, I'll take a look at the person's horoscope. And then I'll take a look at the horoscopes of people that are closest to them. And if there are indications, okay, in the chart of these other people of some difficulty or some trouble, that is at the same time as the key person's chart that I'm looking at, I know there's a greater likelihood that something big is going to happen. You know, it's a matter of taking evidence from different charts you know, to get an idea of how severe things are going to be, because they're all connected, you know. The fact that Melania is with Donald, that's a, a, a karmic fate and destiny type thing, okay? They were born to be together through the time that they've been together at this point. Whether they'll continue is something that uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, middle of the summer, all right? This is, this is as of May the 11th. By the latter part... I think of June or July is when this becomes exact and when we'll know whether or not there's trouble in paradise. All right. All right. Now, this is the chart that I wanted to show you or talk to you about. This is Donald Trump's inner chart here. This is Melania's chart here. And this is the transits. Okay. As of April the 23rd, 2024. So this is a little older chart. And the planets have moved a little bit. Now, by now, Jupiter has moved into Donald's 10th house. This could be an indication of favorability in some areas of his life, legally and also financially. We'll just have to see how things begin to pan out here. All right. There are some things that are starting to look more favorable. There's complications that have come into these other attempts. Okay. Um, by the Department of Justice to bring him to justice. All right. All of this stuff that you're saying, the difficulty of bringing him to justice, the difficulty in convicting him. Okay. Um, all of this stuff. Okay. Has really nothing to do with our sense of right and wrong. It's more so it has to do with the karma involved. All right. And the purpose of Donald Trump in the midst of all of this fear and anxiety that's being stirred up. And of course, the question is, you know, are we paying attention to this personally? Or are we just kind of sitting on, you know, the, the bench, uh, watching the game, so to speak, and hoping that it'll, it'll just all go away or that we'll win the game somehow? Um, this is kind of the fallacy, I think, in the thinking, whether you're Republican or Democrat, all right, is that the end game here will be decided by what the universe wants to be accomplished and not by what we emotionally want to happen. All right, but here's the important thing here. You'll notice here that not too long after this, okay, I think I can show you this in a little bit on another chart. By the time we get into late July and early August, when that progressed Venus is squaring Saturn, Uranus is going to be in the 10th house or close to it. In fact, I believe it gets right up to about a degree or less of being conjunct 
Melania's Venus. Now, Uranus in Donald Trump's horoscope rules his sixth house of health and also his seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So the question I want to present to you is this. Knowing that he has a progressed Venus squaring Saturn, okay, that's kind of the cold shoulder aspect. That's kind of a personality that is very detached, unemotional, looks at things um, as they like to use the terminology that everything with Donald Trump is transactional or, uh, you know, what can you do for me type situations, all right? So here's the situation. Uranus rules the unexpected. It has to do with freedom. All right. It's going to get close to conjuncting her Venus, which, of course, okay, is love relationships. All right. Of course, you could say that this is an indication she's going to meet somebody else and fall in love with them. You just you don't know for sure. But the point is here I'm referring to Donald Trump's horoscope. Because Uranus rules the seventh and the sixth houses. Pluto has gone into Aquarius. So this enters in another dynamic, another energy, okay? This should make people a little bit leery about Donald Trump's health. Uh, also, in regards to his situation uh, legally, that's not a good scenario there for him. But for my purposes right now, I just want to try to show you that there are several factors here that are going to be coming about during the summer in relationship to Donald Trump and his relationship with his current wife, that there is evidence here that we could see a situation arise where she ends up divorcing him or she files for divorce because I believe Uranus goes retrograde shortly after um, the latter part of July or August. So it's going to come across that again at least one more time. And we'll have to see how that unfolds. Um, Okay, so let's go forward here, another chart. All right, this is just to give you an idea of the timing. Here is progressed Venus squaring Saturn. This is Donald Trump's horoscope. August the 19th is when it will be exact. All right, here is Uranus squaring Mars. Now, this is kind of the unknown thing about what's going to be happening during the summer. Because when Uranus goes across the midheaven, it can be either be for good, good fortune, fortunate changes, or it could be unexpected events that are of a dire nature. And what's happening here is Uranus is squaring that Mars, which is on his ascendant. And I've said many times before, Mars rules the head. Okay, Uranus, again, going back to the sixth and seventh houses, okay, rules the houses of health and the houses of partnerships, okay? Something unexpected. Um, this is known as the accident aspect, okay? And because it's not an opposition, uh, you wouldn't consider it to be an accident caused by somebody else. You'd be more inclined to think it's an accident that the person themselves, okay, um, brings upon themselves. And of course, in his natal chart, Mars rules his ninth house. Now, that is the house of law. All right. It's the house of, of course, arts. It's a house of, of uh, higher knowledge and things like that. But you could say to a certain degree, okay, that it also could be a legal action. Now, whether that comes from the Supreme Court or it comes from uh, another court, another judge, or it's an indication, again, of a divorce, a legal action. Okay. All of these things are possible. And um, the fact that this is being brought out. It's to emphasize for you that over the summer, things are going to heat up and escalate. Okay. Uh, so far, we've been all kind of sitting, you know, on the edge of our seat, waiting to see what's going to happen. Well, over the summer, you may fall off that seat a couple times or more. Okay. Before we get into um, the final showdown, so to speak, in November. So, he has all of this stuff going on during the summer, okay? And um, it's definitely going to be a wild time, all right? All right, now, this is, again, Melania Trump, all right? This is August 
the 10th. This is about nine days prior to when Trump's Venus squares. Okay. Um, the Saturn. And there are some things that are interesting here. Okay, everybody, we are on the last image that I have to discuss today. I had to do some editing to this, so if you notice there was a abrupt shift between the video up until this point, it's because I had to cut something out and re-hook this part to it. And I wanted to uh, end things with this particular uh, image of Melania Trump, okay, and again, keep in mind we don't have her actual birth time and the transits as of August the 10th, which is about, let's say, nine days prior to when Donald Trump's progressed Venus squares his Saturn. You can see that Uranus almost reaches, okay, the 28th degree of Taurus in the chart, all right? And when you take into consideration everything that I have shown you, okay, about Melania Trump, and about the aspects in Donald Trump's horoscope and the aspects to the chart of Donald and Melania. There definitely is a big deal coming, okay, of some kind, a big deal coming. Uh, whether it leads to an actual legal process, you know, of divorce, anybody's guess. But you just have to imagine that this entire situation uh, going on between Donald and Melania is really, really reaching a crescendo. And I think that it probably helps Melania more than Donald, what we see happening, because if she was in totally a transactional relationship with him, of just being kind of a, you know, a uh, what they call a, you know, eye candy type thing, that the whole scenario that is happening to him emotionally it's going to hurt to a certain degree her pride all right and of course it would also to a large degree maybe hurt Baron to see all this happening all right but again I think that they both have a pretty deep insight into Donald Trump who he is why he does what he does and uh, as I said earlier in the video here I'll be talking about uh, the chart of Baron and his father and also a relationship to the mother and um, how there could be some real interesting behind the scenes stuff going on in that family circle, uh, in the intimate circle, so to speak, of Donald Trump. Okay. I hope that you enjoy the video. I hope that it uh, brings out some things that maybe you didn't know. Uh, we are at the, basically at the, the foundation level, the kindergarten level, so to speak, of the drama to come through, you know, this particular summer. And, uh, the big concern that I'm sure that you have, as I have, is how much more unstable are these events going to uh, have upon the country and upon the level of fear that's been building for a considerable amount of time. And uh, this whole thing, like I said, there's just really no clear-cut, absolute way to determine how this is going to turn out. Okay. Uh, there are many things, you know, I think emotionally that people have some hope that this is going to go the way that the Democrats and Biden want it to go. But as I've said over and over and over again, you're talking about a karmic factor here, okay, of things that go well beyond our emotional, you know, wants, whether you're Republican or Democrat, okay, uh, or Donald Trump. The situation is really to the point where it's out of our hands, even though, okay, and I don't want to discourage anybody from not voting, all right, vote your conscience, all right, but also be aware of the fact that there are things going on here that really go beyond just our emotional uh, wants and desires or our ego perceptions of what we think is actually going on, and um, I wish it was otherwise, okay, I wish that I could say everything's rosy or that uh, Trump's going to lose, that type of thing, and he could, all right? Or there could be things happen beyond your ability to logically reason, all right, that will further make the entire experience that we're going through here uh, much more painful to endure. Okay, all right, again, I want to remind you that if you haven't had a chance to come over to the platform, Substack, it's a writing platform, 
this is where all my insight from my guidance goes. All right, whether it's in the newsletter called Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe or Trump in America, where I talk about his impact on America and politics, or the Ask the Astrologer. Okay, they're basically all free, but there are paid levels if you want to go ahead and get more of the content. I try to balance out the paid versions of the posts I put out versus the ones that are free. And there are a lot that are free. Um, okay, so, but if you want to come over there, see what's there. There's a lot of support over there. There's a lot of insight that I think that will probably help you to navigate through your emotions while you're awakening. And I think that you'll enjoy that experience over there. Okay, I also want to say, okay, this coming Saturday, the 18th, I believe it's the 18th, 10 to 11 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to be live streaming on uh, probably Facebook, Yahoo, and also LinkedIn. Uh, another episode of the um, Trump Talk and Awakening, where I talk about what is going on, what we're seeing happening, also astrologically, what's going on in Donald Trump's chart. And then also the awakening process, okay? How you are feeling, what you're going through, okay? How this all is relating to the effects that it's having upon us as individuals and also in regards to the country itself and the world, really. So um, this is something that I hope that you'll join us, okay? Uh, oftentimes during the Trump talk and awakenings, I rely very heavily on what I'm getting from my guidance. So you will sense during this particular hour, a lot of things that are being channeled, I guess you'd use the word, through me to try to help you to understand astrologically and also consciously what it is that we are seeing happening and what we're feeling, what we are feeling inside about these times. Okay, so enough said. From the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, okay, I want to thank all of you that have supported us through all these years, uh, through the donations given sometimes spontaneously, and also for the subscribers and the members of the channel that have stuck with me uh, during the tumultuous time of dealing with the algorithm of YouTube uh, and the things that they have done, you know, to the channel over the years. But it seems like they've fixed some of the problems and... Uh, that's been a benefit, you know, to uh, the work that we're doing. Okay, but again, and I want to mention one more thing. Over on Substack, CJ also has two newsletters. One is called CJ's World, and the other one is called CJ's Whispers of Awareness, where she shares her insights from her guidance and writes about everything in life that she's gone through, she's experienced, and things that you can relate to. Okay, looking back upon your life, those things that have influenced and affected you as well. Okay, thank you again. And I believe what I'm going to do in the next video, I was thinking about maybe popping in and doing one with Baron, but I may do one on, on Michael Cohen because beginning now, and it's been going on quite a while with Mark, Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen's life and world have been turned upside down. And they're going to continue to be turned upside down. It's going to be continue to be difficult for him. And I want to talk about that as well. So it'll either be Baron Trump or Michael Cohen next week. Okay. And thank you again, all of you, for being here.